Another kind of mantis has an unusual way of protecting her eggs. She encloses them at the center of a tough-skinned bubble. But no creature is entirely ahead in the game of survival, and the tough skin of the bubble can't prevent this parasitic wasp, barely the size of a pinhead, from drilling a hole into it and injecting some of her own eggs alongside those of the mantis. A few weeks later, a host of tiny mantis, perfect miniatures of the adult, hatch from their egg case and it's clear that most have survived the parasites. Soon afterward, there are more signs of life inside the bubble. This time, it's the parasites. The parasitic wasps are so minute and so difficult to film that David and Carol have moved the egg case into their studio where they will have more control. How's it look? Take a look, take a look, it's, it's great. Got it. Yeah. See, see the little guys be beginning to nibble already? Yeah. Before the wasps can leave the nest, one of them must nibble a hole through the bubble. From this tiny hole, too small for a pin to pass through, all the wasps will squeeze their way to the outside world. Finding a mate in the great outdoors is not left to chance. Before they leave, the wasps mate in the case. It is mainly females, probably already mated, that now leave. Someday, they too will parasitize the eggs of another mantis. <laughs> 